Hello YouTube friends, this is Major with Major Honey. I am coming back up to you today with a, another video. <clears throat> it's been a, a good week and a half or so since I've uh, looked at some of my splits and stuff. So we're going to go into some of them today. One thing I want to tell you is I appreciate everyone watching my YouTube channel in the last couple weeks. I've really had a big influx of people watching my channel and my videos and liking and commenting. I want to let you know I appreciate that. All you new subscribers, you know, look through the video log and there's several videos on there that you can watch and I hope you enjoy them. Feel free to comment, ask questions or anything that uh, you might want to know or want to see or anything like that. Just let me know. So uh, we're going to get started here. I'm going to readjust the camera and uh I'm trying a tripod for the first time. I'm going to see how that works out for me. So uh, I'm going to adjust the camera and we're going to get started on this first box right here. I did feed these guys last week and all their food's gone. So let's we'll see what they look like. Oh, wow, yeah. We've got a few bees in here, that's for sure. Give them a little smoke. It's a little overcast here. So. Let's see what they got. Now I took a couple splits out of this box roughly about two weeks ago or so. Maybe two and a half weeks ago. And I just put some pulled out frames back in the top here. They're basically putting nectar there and got some capped honey. Same thing here on this side. This was a new foundation sheet, and uh, you can see where they're starting to pull it out. frames full of, full of pollen. This frame has a lot of eggs, a lot of ants. I usually just blow on them, talk to them. Hey girls, watch out. You can see it in there. A lot of pollen on here also. Got 
some drones down here at the bottom that's already capped. Just a few there. Now I took some splits out of here. I could probably actually take another one if I really wanted to, but today I'm really just getting an idea of what they look like. I might come back and a few more days or another week or something and maybe split them again. I want to give them a chance to build up a little harder. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of eggs and larvae on this frame as well. So I'll give this another week or so and these cells will be capped and uh, I can use them to make splits because the one thing about making splits is when you make a split you know you want to have eggs so, or a queen cell or something or maybe even a queen cell that's already pulled out but if you put too many eggs new eggs in with a split there's typically not enough bees to take care of all of them so they'll end up dying because they just don't have enough resources to take care of them so you don't want to put too many in there and then she's laid on both sides of this frame as well so I'm gonna there's a lot of bees in the bottom also so I can definitely take me another split out of these the next time, next week when I come back in. Oh yeah. Be no problem. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put these guys back up. Back over where it was at. Split that I done a few weeks ago. It doesn't have a lot of activity. I'm gonna look at it and see uh, how it's doing. I'm not expecting a whole lot from it. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, and see, you can. They haven't ate any of their food, so. That tells you that they're not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, I don't even really see any bees in here much. more gentle than that slit you see there's still a little bit of brood there that hadn't hatched out yet but they're in here there's they're still here they're making it, it's just a small amount. don't see a queen that don't mean that there's not one in here because it can still be small and 
hadn't fattened up yet. And I don't see any. I don't see one. What I what I'll probably end up doing is uh, I'll probably take a frame of take a frame of cat brood out of this other box when next week and uh, I'll put it in here and some more bees will hatch out I'll even put a, a little bit of eggs in here with them and give them a chance to pull them another queen but uh, not all splits are going to make it the first time you try it but it's not that big of a deal there's another small split of them I know uh, from my other previous split video I typically like to do a, a strong five frame split but uh, every now and then I try to do maybe a two or a three frame it just sort of gives you a little bit different perspective of of it sometimes they do well and sometimes they don't it gives you a little idea of how many bees you need to get the job done very active on this frame here Still a little bit of brood to hatch out on this side. Looks like we got a lady and queen in here. Well, there are, there's some on those three frames there. Looked like there was a few eggs. I'll come back in a few days and see how they're going. See, this young bee fell off. See how young it is? Oh, it just fell again. See, you can tell all the hair and stuff's on it. It's probably not, but it hatched out maybe a day or two or so, so it's just getting its wits about it and it definitely can't fly right now so I'm gonna put it back in the box check on these guys too. A little while longer. But <clears throat> some of the what I call you know a two frame split. You know it takes them a while to get going so it just depends on how aggressive you want to be with it. <laughs> yeah there's This is one of my main hives that I took splits out of. I took two splits out of this. It was a double eight that wintered <coughs> through the winter. So I took two splits out of it and reduced it down to a single. Then I'm going to let them build back up and then I'll
put another box on it. They got brewed here. Watch out, ladies. And this is on the outside frame there. You can... There's some larvae in there. So... So I know we got a good laying queen here. She's already building back up quickly. And I see some cat brood on the other frame. I'm not going to go any further in here. Because I've seen all I need to see. be ready to put another box on them next week because they're doing well <laughs> and glad you stopped by to watch our videos like subscribe thank you and we'll see you next time